hi guys welcome to a new video in this video we'll be making this short shift dress with bell sleeves and feathers if this is something you like keep watching please don't forget to like share comment subscribe turn on notifications so you'll be notified whenever i make a new post so these are the materials we are going to be needing i have about two and a half yard of crepe fabric my scissors my tape the measurements and that'll be all the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out the amount of fabric that i'll be using for this style and to do this i'm just taking my hip measurements and adding three extra inches to cut it out that's exactly what i'm doing I'll also measure the length that I want this to be, add some allowances and cut it in two places. So after cutting both pieces and placing them on the table, because I'll be cutting the front and this back together, what I'll do is go ahead and make a point at the top line, which will serve as my shoulder line. After marking my shoulder line, the next thing I'm going to do is to take my shoulder measurement divided by two and I'm going to mark a point on that line. I'm also going to get my shoulder slope by going down from my shoulder measurement by one inch. And then I'll take my neck measurement. My neck, for my neck measurement, I'll be going in by three inches for the width. I remember I'm cutting the front and the back together. So for the length, I'm going to go in by I'm going to go in by one and a half inch, which will serve as the length for the back piece. So, so I'm just going to connect the two points with the curve, just like you see me doing. So after drawing the curve, I'll go ahead and label it back so I'll not be confused. The next thing I'm going to do is to connect my shoulder slope to the neckline. Just like you see me doing. Now I'll go ahead to take all my vertical measurements. And the first is going to be my boss point. I'm marking my boss point. After which I'll mark the under bust. After marking my under bust, I'll mark my waistline. After marking my waistline, I'll go ahead and mark my hip line. I'll go ahead and repeat this vertical measurement on the other side of this dress so my line will be straight when I'm ruling the line. Guys, please, I'm using a pencil for this, a pen for the sake of this tutorial. If you're making a cloth for yourself or for a client, please be sure to use a chalk or pencil. The last vertical measurement is the full length of this dress, which is 33 inches, but I made it 35 because I'm going to be using 2 inches as the allowance, folding allowance. So this is me connecting the lines together and I'm labeling hip line. I'll connect the, the lines and then I'll label them. This is my under bust and this is my bust point. The next step is to get my armhole line and to do this you divide your bust measurement by 6 and add 1.5 mine gave me 7 so i'm just going to really line across that point which will serve as my chest line i'm going to take whatever i have on my shoulder line and then i'm going to place it on that same chest line and i'm going to connect the two points together just like you see me doing the next thing to do after this is to get my armhole curve and because i'm cutting the front and the back together i'm going to be getting two separate armhole so i'm going to take my measurement divided by four i'm going to mark it and then i'm going to mark one inch for ease now i'm going to take the midpoint of the armhole line and then i'm going to connect the two points together just like you see me doing and this is for the back armhole i'm labeling it back now for the front armhole i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to get the midpoint of this which is 3.5 i'm going to go in by half an inch and then i'm going to connect the three points together just like you see me doing and then i'm going to be labeling it front so this is the front armhole curve 
after i've taken my bust measurement my bust pan measurement divided by four plus one inch for ease the next thing to do is to add an allowance to this i'm using an allowance of one and a half inch i need to take whatever measurement i have on my chest line and then i'll replicate it on my bust line the next thing to do is to go to my waistline take my bust pan measurement divided by four inches whatever i have i put the add one extra inch for ease and then one and a half for my allowance i'll go further to my hip line and then i'll do the same thing my hip circumference I'll take the measurements divided by four one extra inch for my ease and then one and a half for allowance whatever i have on my hip measurement i'm going to do the exact same thing on the bottom part of this dress so i'm going to rule a straight line i'll take it down to the end of this dress the next thing to do is to connect all the points together so i'm going to be taking my master pattern and then i'm going to be joining this point just like you see me doing I'll do the same for the bottom part of this I'll connect it just like you see me doing to the end of this dress then I'm going to eliminate the sharp point now the last thing to do is to measure my front neckline and for this I'm going to go in by three inches for the length and also three inches for the depth just like you see me doing I'll go ahead and cut this following exactly the lines i've taken i'll cut out for the back first after cutting the back then i'm going to remove the back and then i'll cut out the neckline and the armhole for the front i'm done with the back of this so what i'm going to do is to open it up and remove the back piece just like you see me doing then i'll place the front back on the table and i'm going to cut the neckline and the armhole for the front that's the only difference between the front and the back of this dress it doesn't have like a zip allowance or anything the difference is in the neckline because the front is deeper and then the armhole now if you see the style on the thumbnail you see it has like a small straight line and to achieve this i'm going to go in by four inches and then i'm going to slit it neatly just like you see me doing and that'll be all for the front piece i'll be using a facing for this style so i'm going to go ahead and cut the facing what you do is to place a piece of fabric just like you see me doing like this trace out the neckline and also trace it out depending on how much how wide or slim you want it to be please watch what i'm doing i'm going to measure at least one inches after the slit and then i'm going to open it up just like you see me doing and then i'm going to connect it just like this so this is what the facing looks like i'll go ahead and repeat this process for the back piece i'll be cutting a facing for it also this is what the facing looks like even if i ended up cutting another one because i felt like this was too small the next thing is to cut the sleeve of this and i'll be using a slash and spread method i'm going ahead to label the shoulder line then i'll be going down by four and a half inch which will serve as my bicep line i'm going to rule a line across i'll label bicep line the next thing i'm going to do is to take my elbow line and for this dress i'm going to be using 12 and a half i'll rule a line across and label elbow line the next thing i'm going to do is to go down by the full length of this sleeve i'm using 26 inches because i want this sleeve to be really long i want it to be very long the next thing to do is to go in by four inches on my starting line after which i'm going to take the midpoint of my starting line and my bicep line just like you see me doing i'll take the midpoint 
and then the next thing to do on my bicep line is to take my bicep measurement which is six and a half i'll add one and a half inches for my allowance because that's what i use for this dress one and a half inch allowance the next thing to do is to draw a curve to that midpoint that i created and then draw another curve just like this to the the other part of the sleeve just like you see me doing you're going to get a nice curve just like this you can also use your free hand for this i'll go down to my elbow line i'll take the circumference divided by two and use one and a half inch for allowance i'll do the same on my wrist line i'll take the measurement divided by two and then and then i'll connect the points together in a straight line just like this that's all for the sleeve so this is like a basic sleeve pattern i'll go ahead and cut it out to get my sleeve properly the wrist line i made a point of two inches and then i'm just going to connect it to the top of this sleeve in a straight line and i made another point of two inches so i'll connect the both points to the top of this sleeve just like you see me doing so i'm making a point of two inches and then i'm ruling a line to the top of the sleeve just like this this line that i've ruled is the point where i'm going to be slashing on with my scissors so i'm going to open it so you slash it as close as possible to the top without opening it completely just like you see me doing carefully you take it to the very top but you don't open it completely so this is what it looks like well, on my table i'll be placing a fabric that is at least 16 to 17 inches wide and 27 inches long so i've placed my pattern on the material just like you see me doing and then i'm going to be slashing it by four inches just like you see me doing you measure four inches i'm putting a pin on that point so it wouldn't move after pinning it i'll measure the same four inches on the other part of this slash i'll also pin it down so it wouldn't shift after that i'll go ahead and trace it out that's how simple this sleeve is so after cutting out i'll remove my pins take out my pattern and this is what the sleeve looks like this is simple i'll set it aside now i'm going to take my facing i'll place it right side to right side and then i'm just going to sew it following this like this just like that i'll do the same for the back piece after sewing and ironing this is exactly what it looks like this is what it looks like for the back and this is what it looks like in front this is the back so i'm going to place front and back piece right side to right side and then i'm going to sew it i'm going to take one part of the lining for the back and then i'm going to use it to cover everything and then i'm going to stitch it so it will appear neat i've gone ahead to do that and this is exactly what it looks like see how neat it is both at the back and in front so this is what it looks like after doing that and giving it a good press the next thing to do is to go ahead and place the front and the back right side facing each other and then stitch it by the side by one and a half inch just like like you see me showing you after joining it together and giving it a good press this is what it looks like the next step is to attach the sleeves now for the sleeves i've gone ahead to join the sides by one and a half inch but i did not sew it up until the end because i'm going to be attaching my feather before i join it i've done the same for both the left and the right hand to hem the bottom of the sleeve now i'm going to be joining the sleeve to the dress just like this after notching the midpoint i'm going to be placing the center point to the center point of this dress just like you see me doing and then i'm going to be sewing it round by half an inch i'll do the same for the other sleeve please watch what i'm doing after sewing the sleeve to the dress this is what it looks like on both sides the last step is to attach the feather and will be done with this dress 
wanting to do is to place my feather on this sleeve you can choose to place it however you want to place it but i'm placing mine on the wrong side you can choose to place it on top on the right side just like this but i'll be placing mine on the wrong side so it will look just like this so i'll go ahead and place it inside just like you see me doing like this and then i'll be back after placing the feather on the sleeve i decided to actually use a gum and just place it this is exactly how it looks i like how it came out so the next thing to do is to close the sleeves and then hem the bottom of this dress and that's all for this dress guys so this is what this dress looks like i like the way that it came out i wanted the sleeve to be long and almost touch the full length and this is how it came out so this is what this dress looks like if you've enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to like share comment subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be notified whenever i make a new post